welcome back to No Tears Frontiers Diaries. In this episode, we go on the BDR. The BDR. It was so exciting. It was so amazing in Colorado, and I was yeah. I was very excited for uh, the Northeast BDR as well. Yes. Because um, we only got to do that one little sliver of the BDR in Colorado, and it just amazing. blew our minds so much. <laughs> done so much of the BDR and people who kind of founded the BDR and what it means to them and we realized that this is a great great thing that America has are these wonderful roads that have been mapped out yeah. for you already they're free and you can just have the time of your life going and seeing the beautiful scenery of these roads and so we really wanted to check out the newest BDR and that was the Northeast BDR which stands for Backcountry Discovery Route. And so this was going to be the first day. The BDR in the Northeast goes... It crisscrosses through a whole bunch of states. Yeah, But a lot. it starts right at the border of Pennsylvania and, and New York. Yeah. And then, like, uh, it just zigzags across the Delaware River a couple yeah. times. And it, then... It goes a little bit into like Connecticut, it goes yeah. through Massachusetts, it goes through Vermont and New Hampshire, and into Maine, and it ends almost at the Canadian border yeah. in Maine. And I, I mean, I wanted to do the whole thing because yeah. I was super excited. There are a couple spots that are kind of tricky, but uh, the cool thing is, is on the maps that you can look at on your phone, everything is free. Um, really awesome resource, yeah. but uh, it gives you alternative routes if things are kind of sketchy. And, you'll, and it will tell you like level one, two, three, yeah. and there's ways to avoid some really the nastier sections. But but we were assured that you know we would be able to do ninety percent of it, ninety nine percent of it, just fine. And of course, it'd be tricky parts, but. Nothing that we we hadn't experienced in like South America and, and places like that. Yeah, so we were just completely excited. I was a little bit nervous about the tricky sections, but I'm always a little bit nervous. Yeah. I'm a bit of a worrier sometimes, and I over worry things sometimes too much. But mostly, I was excited, and Tim was just I think 110 percent excited. Yeah. <laughs> So we started off at this campground, Pinecrest Campground, um, that was an RV park, but they'd allowed us to camp on the lawn. Yeah. And uh, it was very nice. And we packed up that morning. It was a little cloudy and slightly drizzly, and it was getting to be a bit cold. So today we're going to tackle the Northeastern BDR. Yay! <laughs> Just packing up to go. A nice crisp morning but it does look like there's some blue to the sky maybe not <laughs> but I'm hoping it won't be completely cloudy and rainy today and uh, the temperature is really nice even though it's um, in the fall so we're really looking forward to some fall colors was getting to be late-ish October and we were getting a little bit concerned about 
winter coming and uh, not being able to complete the Northeast BDR before we froze. Yeah, but we wanted to just to, to, to do as much as yeah. we can while the weather was nice and still have fun. And if it got freezing cold, it's just something that we're not right. all that excited if to If we ride. ever got to be miserable, we would just yeah. say, all right, then that's enough. Maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. And a quick little hint. Um, if you do go to the BDR website, you can download the GPX file. You can't upload them onto Google Maps, but you can. We have like OSM and, which is a uh, open source mapping. And like, I just, I just took it and I plugged it right into my phone. There's a little line and an arrow yeah. that said, go have fun. And I followed that line. Um, we'll link these things in the description below. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it, it's really, there's a lot of twists and turns and there's a lot of navigating on and off major roads on the back road. So it, it could be kind of difficult to track yourself. Uh, so there is GPS, there are GPX files yeah. for you to uh, utilize. And it starts in Hancock. We left the campground and went to Hancock, New York, which is very close to the Pennsylvania border. And Hancock, New York is a very cute town. Uh, it has this nice little sign that you can take a picture yeah. at. And, uh, and we like started plaza. off there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all those towns out there are super quaint. Well, and it's cool because we pulled up in the Hancock and we got, I got like a coffee and we got some, some food to bring up with us. And yeah. the waitress was like, oh, you must be on that, that BDR thing. You know, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? And they're like, well, you got one of those big, ridiculous motorcycles that's been showing up around here lately. You know, yeah, so it's, there's it's a lot of motorcycle growing in population and it's really cool. Yeah, in popularity, it's um, becoming very popular. But we started off from Hancock and um, at first the road was paved, but then it turned to dirt. I'm used to give all I have. Get nothing back Wherever I go It's the same There's no excuses No one to blame Sometimes I can understand How it can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you Everything has changed Even though We both stay the same It was beautiful and just a really nice, smooth experience, especially in the yeah. beginning. They did a good job of routing the pieces together um, from kind of, you know, the, the, the back roads uh, to twisty pavement that yeah. connects to more, you know, the difficult roads, if you will. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not all one road. It's like little pieces that yeah. have been kind of tied together. And sometimes to tie them together, you have to go on more major roads. But as soon as we pulled onto our first section of like gravel, it was just the the colors were popping. It felt like we were in one of those yeah. weird like little like like English shows where the the this like a tunnel of foliage yeah. and it, it was, was so just amazing because the leaves were falling from the trees like yeah. snowflakes they were just fluttering through the air there were these light breezes and they'd every once in a while the breeze would pick up and they would just come tumbling down out of the trees and, yeah uh, you're just riding kind of slowly through it all
um, and there's this beautiful bedrock that would line the road sometimes and it would be covered in moss like this rich rich green moss and these ferns it was just like really really beautiful these spindly ferns that we we just don't get ferns like that in the midwest i don't think it was a it was a very different type of forest from what you find in some other parts of the country so uh for that for us that was really cool yeah. we had never been to the northeast on a motorcycle before but we will be again and again and again spoiler yes. alert so cool and it had just rained uh a couple days before if not the day prior and like there's all these puddles in the yeah. in the middle of the road you know and it, it, like whatever i'm a little kid at heart so <laughs> you know, i just splash through them and they whoosh, you know and then yeah. i'd make marissa jump off because some of them are deeper and you get that really cool little you know uh, effect and, yeah uh, we don't mind getting dirty sometimes no it was amazing <laughs> but, uh, yeah it was fun yeah and then some of the the the, the dirt roads and the like the, once the terrain got a little bit more difficult and there were some places where there's like trenches from like car tires and stuff as they yeah. tried to go uphill. But as beautiful as the leaves were as riding on and it was just this whole blissful moment, the leaves hide so much stuff yes. and it was just like, ah, you know, that you'd hit stuff. That was a problem because we did come across some sections that were a little tricky, just a little bit technical as far and, you know, it probably wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't for the leaves. The leaves were covering yeah. up what was below the tires. And so um, they were kind of like biggish, loose rocks, and it wasn't terribly steep or anything. Well, and it's the cars can drive down a lot of these sections, too. And, yeah. the, like, ATVs and stuff, they zip along and have fun. And they just make these, these ruts, which, you know, it, share the road, you know, respect everything. I'm not saying that, you know, no one should be on there except motorcycles. But, <laughs> you know, like, sometimes they're a little bit more aggressive with their riding style and they leave deep ruts. Yeah. And the leaves just, you know, make that deep rut invisible. And right. then I find myself in one and can't get out of one because I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But uh, a little challenging. And and when it goes down and back uphill, it's all torn up and I have to like just right. kind of be on the right side going down, pumping the brakes nice and slow. Yeah, those leaves can be really slippery when you're going downhill, especially if they were wet from the yeah. rains that had just happened. Um, yeah, they can, they can slip and slide. <laughs> but it was just... A, such a beautiful ride. I couldn't. I, yes. It was just we kept pulling over to take pictures of me splashing through puddles. <laughs> or, you know. We were following the Delaware River, which is a very yeah. historic river in the United States, and it just crisscrosses back and forth. And you have this beautiful, like, sunlight coming off of the river to one side, and then this deep, mysterious forest on the other side. <laughs> of birch trees that have the white bark yeah. and then they've got those bright yellow leaves in the fall just stunning really really beautiful
trees were so beautiful. Those fall colors were just stunning. Yeah. I think we hit it right at the perfect moment. At that particular time, yeah. yeah. Like it, it changes in the altitude that you're at, um, mm -hmm. you know. But we pulled into that lake. Um, <gasps> the lake was so beautiful. called Russ Gray Lake and it was this lake of it wasn't really a lake I guess it's a pond um, of still reflective water almost like a mirror but the the trees that surrounded it were just in full blast of uh, yeah. their colors and, and the lake was just so placid that all the, the colors were reflecting back off of it and we got some amazing pictures I you know I jumped off the bike and took a thousand pictures that I could because it was just absolutely beautiful something that i love about that is that it was such a fleeting moment and we just happened to catch it i mean i'm sure the pond is beautiful at all times of the year but that one moment with the fall colors and the trees just kind of lit up in those oranges and reds and yellows and with some green leaves mixed in it was just Divine. Very, it was divine, but it was also very temporary. Yeah. And I think that's part of what made it so special. Just knowing that it was not going to be like that probably two days from now. Yeah, or two days before it was. And, yeah. You know, and that's what a lot of fun about riding around the world or the states or your, you know, your own town. You know, you find all these hidden little gems yeah. that are there just for you sometimes. And it's... It's all about the moment. Yes, it's all about the moment. <laughs> So the afternoon was waning down into evening and we knew that we needed to find a place to camp. Even though we were not as far along down the BDR as we had originally planned because we stopped so often to take pictures and yeah. we were just enjoying ourselves, um, we had to change plans. But well, you found it's, a place. That's always on the fly and I use iOverlander a lot and I'll have like six hours and you know away versus five hours versus oh my god it rained so you know I'll, it, you know i'll just kind of have some different options we came to bear spring mountain wildlife area and they had a campground there and it was a, a beautiful um area to camp the campground even had places for horses yeah there were horse stalls and yeah. like little horse trails that went you know through to, into the scenery so this is our campsite for tonight. We're in the state of New yeah. York. <laughs> it's really nice. There's a little river down that way. And little pet toilets. That's all you need in life, right? <laughs> little river, forest, shade, and beautiful scenery and pet toilets. And pectorals. Pit toilets. Oh. <laughs> but it like nothing was. It had like little. If you want to camp here, pay at the main place down the street, mm -hmm. like which was like four miles away or whatever. And I said I don't want to break any stupid rules and have some sheriff wake us up in the middle right, of the night. Right. Of course we want to pay. And so we rode down to the main campground, just as this woman was closing the gate, and literally for the season she was yeah. like, no, there's no more camping here. Said, well, you know, we. I just wanted to pay for the place down the street. She says, oh, you can camp there for free. And so we were like, bonus. And so <laughs> we rode back and set up the tent under these big, gorgeous trees. Mm -hmm. But there was a little creek right next to it. Yeah. Um, and you had your little pit toilets and your area to camp in of nice, nice grass, picnic tables. That's it. I mean, yeah. Right across perfect. the street was like an, uh, an apple orchard or something. Yeah, an old unkept apple orchard yeah you know it wasn't in the healthiest state ago. but it was you yeah. know a little scooby-doo mystery field yeah across covered the like in really lichen nice. and stuff yeah. no it was really really pretty and we had a very peaceful night and just totally happy about the day that we just had and super excited for the next day unfortunately because well our plans had been to do as much of the bdr as possible 
even, you know, finishing it all the way up to Canada yes. through Maine. But in our next episode, you will see that um, things do not go to plan. And we have an Is interesting this, thing. <laughs> Is it the bike that sucks? Do we get into an <laughs> argument? The relationship on edge? What could it be? Do we get eaten by bears? Yeah, it's what probably the bike be? sucks. <laughs> probably the most you know obvious answer but it could be anything it could be we got eaten by bears so stay tuned stay tuned for the next episode and i hope you like this one if you did please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below as well as the little notification bell so that you can be notified of our next episode which will be more about these crazy adventures that we have on the Northeast BDR. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Stay safe.